everybody welcome to the leah diaries this is your girl lee marie i'm back with another video diaries episode i think this is episode nine or ten um we'll find out once this video is being posted but um yeah i just want to share a little life update where i've been what i've been doing for those you know that care um so for starters um I'm a recent college grad. Um, I graduated a couple years ago from Stevens University. Um, so since that time, I've basically been working and doing whatever I can to pay off bills and save money, if what you would call saving. <laughs> More like spending impulsively, but um, yeah, I've basically been working for the past two years and trying to find ways to, you know, build up better financial habits and more mindfulness habits and self-care habits. That's kind of the journey I've been on um, right now. I guess post-grad life has kind of been sort of a lull, like things have slowed down a bit. You know, I fall into a routine where, you know, I just get up, go to work, make the donuts, go home, maybe go out. Um, or in this case recently trying to relax um but yeah it's kind of what i've been doing um but i found love again um so trying to cultivate you know a new buddy beautiful romance as well so i'm really excited about that um yeah i mean i'm like i'm very happy um that also recently starting nursing school again um that's really exciting um, I think it's kind of like a full circle um, moment because my nursing journey has been, you know, very, very, very chaotic, very complex. I initially started undergrad as a nursing student, then I switched over to bio. And now um, I graduated with my bio degree. Now I'm going back into nursing because I feel that call. I feel that tug. Um, so that's the reason why I'm getting back into it. But I'm also, you know, since working at the hospital and, and getting up close and personal about the things that nurses go through, I've had my doubts and possible reconsiderations. Um, I still want to do it, but, um, I don't want to do it the traditional route where you're just working in a hospital. Um, the fun thing about nursing, and I'm going off of kind of a tangent, not a tangent, but a side note, um, it's flexible. You can do anything with it. Um, it is a calling and it is not for the weak or the faint at heart. You have to really be in it. You have to really have a heart of compassion for people. It's something that I'm working on. Um, I'll be real. It's hard dealing with people on a day-to-day -day basis, even outside of the job, but you know, to be any type of healthcare professional, not just a nurse, it takes a lot of heart and courage. So that's what I'm kind of battling with now. On top of that, trying to rediscover hobbies I had as a kid and trying to, you know, juggle and figure out what hobbies and interests that I want to really stick with. That's another um, factor as well that I have been um, dealing with because I, even though I'll be going back to school, I don't want to lose out on having a life and to have creativity. I want to be able to be more creative. That's one thing I'm really starting to try to re-explore because I know I'm going to be going back to school. I know I'm going to be having to hit the books and form new study habits pretty soon. But I want to be able to uh, have a life, you know, be able to go out, be able to make art, be able to find time to relax because I know eventually after all this grinding and having a career I, I do want to go off the grid that's one of the um things I would like to do I think in another video what I'll do is I'll uh maybe make a video about my five-year plan I recently created a five-year plan really a spur of the moment thing um I realized that um as a creative I flow the best when things are kind of spontaneous where nothing's too over scheduled or over calculated or too structured that's one thing i've learned because i'll be real i like structure but every now and then i get so tired i'm like okay everything's over planned let's just have fun with it you know 
and that just goes with everything that's kind of how i thrive the best if you know things are sort of free flow and free form it, it makes the creative experience or whatever experience more enjoyable so that's just me um recently i just got my hair locked i did it mainly for personal reasons um I was tired of having my hair straightened and going through the whole process of having it straightened and using different chemicals to give it that silkiness. I mean, I've been natural since um, my freshman year of high school, so I've been natural for well over 10 years now. Um, but I decided to embrace my natural hair, you know, and I noticed in the news recently there have been reports of certain chemical straightener products that have caused cancer symptoms of black women. Um, so really, I just want to brace my natural hair. Um, also, you know, spiritual reasons as well to get me closer to my authentic self. Although whether black women, whether you wear your hair straight or natural, you're, 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 you're still phenomenally black. Um, as my shirt says, um, but yeah, locking my hair, I think locking the, my hair also serves as a new turning point in my life as well because one thing I that 2024 has brought me it's, it's definitely a lot of changes a lot of transitions um as well in my life for the better and at times I do get a little anxious I do get a little impatient because I'm like I want my life to go exactly as planned and it doesn't do that um, or I'll feel like I'm not working my purpose, but, you know, a wise person once told me that, you know, even when you feel like you're not working your purpose, you are. Every day, every step that you make, every decision you make on your daily -day basis, you're walking your purpose with whatever you're doing right now. And I guess another thing I want to kind of work on the rest of the year, because the rest of this year is not up, um, working on being more intentional. Let me adjust the camera a bit. Being more intentional. Also, um, what else? Be more intentional. See, my brain. Sticking with commitments and, you know, being consistent, work on consistency. And not feel like I have to be all over the place because I've had loved ones, um, me and my partner tell me, hey, you need to kind of slow down and try to focus on one thing at a time. So that's another thing. Focusing on one thing at a time taking one day at a time initially and I think I started to explain this thought I would like to just go off the grid and eventually not dream of labor or work for anybody anymore because I've, I've noticed that you know recently I've, I've become a little frustrated with working for a company I've started to really understand the you know the whole situation by the american dream and black excellence i've been following youtubers shout out to alicia alicia renice i should say um for being one of the champions when it comes to the soft life and not having to work for anybody and not feeling like you have to grind your way to happiness and just exposing the american dream and stephanie perry as well i think she um has a platform where she um, encourages black women to, you know, become nomads and expats and, you know, live abroad. So eventually I would like to embark on those um, adventures, being able to live abroad, being able to work for myself and not work for a company and make companies rich because initially I've started to understand, and this is another side note, that um this could be another video too um and i think a lot of people are waking up to the fact that you know a lot of our labor is just making another company rich we're basically the labor the work that we do the responsibilities that we have for certain organizations and companies regardless of what our role is is essentially to make the company more money to keep the company running um and it's it's crazy so eventually I would like to work for myself um, and embark on different, you know, on a, have my own small business um, because that way I can make revenue. I can really work on my own time, have my own schedule. And not only that, I want to be able to give back to my community as well 
and all of this is in my five-year plan i think what i'll do is i'll make another video that kind of details it um it's just a rough estimate of what i want to do i know realistically it may not happen in the order that i wrote it with my five-year plan but what i'll plan to do is since i've written my um the notes up on my phone i'm gonna keep writing it so i can use that as a motivator and what's really crazy um it's like during the night time that's when i'm the most creative the night time where i'm supposed to be asleep i'm up i'm that's where my creativity comes alive. I'm a night owl. Um, and it's crazy because I need to work on my sleep schedule. Um, but yeah, nighttime is where I thrive the best creativ creatively. Daytime is where I, I, I've noticed I should use more time to kind of slow down. But what I'm trying to do is get all my creative energy out during the day. So nighttime comes around, I can just go to sleep. So yeah, um, that's just a life update that I've been, that's just, you know, what I've been doing, my post-grad life update. Um, yeah. Um, I also have some really, really great ideas for this channel. I think I've explained it in other videos as well. And I haven't really been as active as I would like. But given that I still have some time on my hands before classes pick back up, I'm going to be more consistent with uploading. Um, I know my YouTube uploading schedule is off the charts it's very inconsistent but once we get a little schedule going a little routine going you're gonna be seeing videos pop up more often and i'm always open to any suggestions for really virtually any video idea that you have i already have like a list i have of video ideas i think that would interest people um thanks for the subscribers i do have um, for those who are not familiar with my channel, please feel free to check out um, this video when it's uploaded and any other previous videos that you've seen. Um, these are from like way back uh, during the pandemic, really. So yeah, um, just feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell so you can be up to date um to when i post my videos um we're gonna make this more consistent because i feel like with all that's happening this year and in my personal life i have a lot to say so be blessed i will see you guys in the next video peace mm -hmm.